Celtic set to sign Watford star. Celtic are set to sign Watford youngster Boson Lawal in the coming days, according to the Watford Observer. The report states that the hoops will splash out as little as £150,000 to bag the Irish youngster, who rejected a new deal with the EPL club. The Watford Observer reports that a medical is scheduled, with the deal expected to be completed before the end of the week. Lawal spent last season as part of the Watford under-23 squad and would become their academy player of the year. Speaking at the time, Lawal said the following as quoted by the paper. I came here from Ireland and wanted to show what I can do, to show my talent and to win this award with the quality we have in the academy is a surreal moment. My family will be very proud as they have sacrificed a lot for me. I've enjoyed this season at LOT. Everything has gone well and the lads have performed well. Captaining the team at St. James Park was the highlight and now I just want to keep going, keep showing what I can do for the 23s and then get an opportunity with the first team. Watford starlet Boson Lawal set for Celtic step up. Lawal has yet to make a single senior appearance for Watford despite coming up through their youth ranks. Therefore, it looks as though he wouldn't be a straight first choice pick at Celtic immediately. Lawal would instead qualify for the B team, who are playing lowland league football this season. Even that would be a big improvement for the midfielder from plying his trade in the youth ranks. From a Celtic perspective, it feels good to be adding to the Lennox Town ranks again. Given all of the names we've seen leave the club over the last two years, stocking up on young talent has to be a priority. The move would also follow Celtic's recent model of bagging young exciting England-based talents. This comes after the club secured the signings of Liam Shaw, Jose's Erho Guide, and Joey Dawson respectively. Lawal will arrive at Parkhead with a decent reputation too after his award last term. Fingers crossed we get the deal over the line and Hoops fans can look forward to seeing another exciting young addition to the club. Celtic have joined the chase for Maccabi Peter Tikva winger Lear Labada, according to The Sun. The report states that 19-year-old Abada, whose agent is Dudu Dahan, is ready to make a money-spinning move abroad. Abada has just had an excellent season with Maccabi Peter Tikva. In 38 outings, the right-sided winger has scored 13 and set up a further four. He's also been capped by Israel. According to Israeli outlet Yet, Abada had all but signed for Dinamo Moscow in the winter window. However, Maccabi Peter Tikva managed to hold on to their teenage star. Club Bruges and Olympiakos, as well as some unnamed French outfits, are also meant to be keen on the 5-6 winger. According to The Sun, Dudu Dahan has been given a mandate to sell the winger from the Israeli club. Dudu Dahan has a mixed history with Celtic. In the past, he's helped the boys land Biram Kale, Nibitan, F. Ambrose, Ismail Asoro and Haytam Abdel Hamed. However, he's also brought Amido Bald, Rami Gashon and Stefan Sipovic to paradise. As for Abada, though, the diminutive right-winger fills a key criteria for this Celtic squad. Postacoglu's side are badly stocked in wing positions, on the right, there's James Forrest, who was injured for most of last season, and Karamuko Dembele. His agent will attract cynicism, but Lille Abada could be interesting business for Celtic. It'll attract ire, knowing that Lille Abada is represented by Dudu Dahan. That makes sense, in the past, fans have felt there's an over-reliance on particular agents. Chief among those is Dehan. However, his hit rate with Celtic is actually quite impressive. Of the current squad, Ismail Asoro is an absolute crowd favourite, while Nibitan has been a long-tenured presence for the boys. Given that we have a very clear need for wingers in this squad, Abada don't seem like too big a risk. With European competitors for his signature, this isn't some overly played relationship between a club and an agent. Also, perhaps that relationship is overstated, Dehan's client Ofi Marciano, in recent weeks, opted for Feyenoord, despite being linked to Celtic. At 19, Abada has considerable potential, and is already an international player. If this deal can be done for under £5 million, then Celtic could be onto some really decent business here. That is, if Dinamo Moscow aren't to reignite their interest. 
or, if Club Bruges don't get there first. Expect to see Lila Bada's name pop up more frequently over the next week. Angie Postacogla's playing style is beginning to excite Celtic players. Angie Postacogla's method of playing is clearly starting to excite the Celtic players after Stephen Welsh bigged up the recent training sessions. Several hoop stars have come out and bigged up what the new man is trying to bring to the table. An emphasis on reactions after losing possession appears to be a strong focus for Postacogla. We've seen Celtic's renewed focus on playing out from the back in their first two preseason matches against Sheffield Wednesday and Charlton Athletic respectively. In both matches, the youngsters have done impressively well to adapt to Postacogla's ball-playing demands. And Welsh has claimed that the new playing style excites him as he outlined why he enjoys working with Postacogla. As quoted by the Scottish Sun, Welsh said, it's been really good working with the new manager very positive. I'm loving the training, so hopefully we can implement those drills into games. It's quite exciting the way he wants us to play. I like to play under a manager where you know what your role is, and what you are doing in every minute of a training session, and especially a game. I think it's about trying to start again for everyone. It's about trying to improve your all-round game every day. Playing in the gaffer's team, you need to be really good on the ball. So that's something everyone has to improve on. Angie Postacogla's Celtic players buying into his methods. It's important that Celtic fans hear these kinds of sound bites from players when it comes to the new manager's training regime. We need to know that they're buying into what Postacogla is trying to do. So far, it seems as though everything is fairly rosy in that regard. The players all seem to be taking to the high-intensity sessions, and that bodes well for the new boss. Of course, it also speaks well of some of the current playing squad. There was a stigma attached to many players last season about not trying their hardest for the football club. Time will tell whether what's been worked on training can indeed be replicated on the pitch. Friendly success is one thing, but doing it against Michelin in the UEFA Champions League qualifiers next week is another. That match will be a true barometer of how far some players have come over the last month. Subscribe for more football news daily.